Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne, and welcome to my weekly Sunday Thrift Haul video. If you're new here, I do these videos every week just to show you the things that I have picked up over the past week uh, that I'll either be recycling, or using in my own home as decor, or reselling. I want to share with you things that I picked up last weekend while away on a girls weekend away with my uh, friend Anna. We went down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We thrifted on the way down and we thrifted while we were there and we thrifted on the way back and we had such a good time. If you missed the shop along video from that, I'll link it at the end of this video. And I also want to share with you some packages that I received from two YouTube friends, Chris and Jean. So let me go ahead and get started showing you all these goodies. I want to get started with the friend mail because it's driving me crazy to see what are in these packages. So my first, the first one is from my friend Chris. And let me show you the sticker on the back of the package. It says hugs. I love this. I've got to pull this sticker off, Chris. I'm going to save it. Um, because uh, many of you may know when I respond to comments uh, down in the comment section down below, uh, the last word that I will put in is hugs. And that's what I want to send to everybody. So Chris sent me my very own hugs. I love it, Chris. I've already kind of opened, a little bit opened up the packages just to make things quicker. So we have a cute little card in here from Chris with a little mouse and a kitty. I open this without oh there we go uh, let me see what it says uh, she hopes all is well it is thank God for that she says she's been looking for this for some time hoping that she could find it and she finally did it's in remembrance of my mirror no, Chris, it's not going to bring sadness. It'll bring happy memories back of my mirror cat. Um, for those of you that don't know, I lost my mirror. Gosh, it's been almost a month and a half now already. Um, she was my very, very first cat, and we were together for 12 or 13 years, quite a long time. So Chris sent me something to help to remember her. I'm just going to be tossing packages and paper and stuff like oh oh Chris it's an angel cat oh Chris she's beautiful thank you so much I actually had my mirror cremated and she is back home. So I'm gonna put this right next to my mirror. Thank you so much, Chris. And these are not sad tears, these are happy tears. That was very, very sweet of you. And it's perfect, it's absolutely perfect. So she is my little angel cat in heaven. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chris, from the bottom of my heart. I'll keep this forever and ever, I promise you that. <laughs> it's beautiful oh I wasn't expecting that I'm sorry <laughs> um, the next package <clears throat> actually came from um, Stephanie at Thrifting Adventures she has a YouTube channel and I've already opened this up part partially and it says Joanne a gift from Jean uh, her YouTube name is Chicago Lady. Oh, and there's Stephanie's business card. Very cute. And she puts in a couple of little package toppers in here. And let's see, Jean, what did you send? So I said, I'm just going to be tossing things on the floor here. Oh, you're a very good rapper, Stephanie. What do we have here? Oh, did I? Oh, let me grab my scissors. Here we go. Oh my 
goodness, look at this. You use some good tape there, Stephanie, I gotta tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh Jean. Oh my gosh, Jean. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a Madonna for my collection and she's holding the baby Jesus. Oh my gosh. Jean, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at her and look, she's a planter. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful. Oh, Jean, thank you so, so very much. So Jean got this for me from one of Stephanie's live sales. And I believe you put a comment in one of my videos, Jean, telling me that you were sending me something my way via Stephanie. But I had no idea it was going to be this. Oh, thank you so much, Jean. I'm going to be putting that with my Madonna collection, I promise. Oh, she's beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Oh, Chris and Jean, I want to thank you both for thinking of me very much. <laughs> Gosh, I don't, that's, I've said it before, that is something that I never expected uh, when I started this channel was the friendships and the connections that you make with people. That has been honestly the biggest and most wonderful surprise from doing this YouTube channel. Ladies, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I will treasure both pieces forever. Um, I'm going to take just a quick second and um, just go dry my eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I always say that it's hard to follow up with a thrift haul when you receive such amazing, amazing friend mail. But I'm gonna do my best. I'm also gonna do my best to try and show you the things in a group when wherever it is that I purchased them. If it was at a, a vendor at a flea market or I didn't get anything at the antique store, the antique mall, because their prices were a bit too high for me. So I will try and group things together. If I can remember also what I paid for them, I'll let you know that as well. Because a lot of things, especially at the flea market and the thrift store, were not marked. So they kind of just give, gave you like a, a bundle price. But So this bag that I have here was from the last place that we went to. I can't remember the name of the city now. It was an antique, or I'm sorry, it was a thrift store, and you really had to dig and hunt. It was, uh, the woman said, about two miles south of the North Carolina border. So I'm going to start with the thing that is amazing me above anything that I got. And if you know me, you know that I have this thing about rescuing Starbucks mugs. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, it is not a Starbucks mug but I have to rescue it anyway. So as you can see, it's a Starbucks store. It is in excellent, excellent condition. And you put a light in the back of it here. It did not come with the light, but I had one, so I was able to add that. It is a Department 56 piece. There you can see. It's from the Snow Village, uh, 1995. I know I paid $8 for this, which is kind of high for me, also if you know me. So when we were, Anna and I, we left the store, we went to just get a bite to eat at Subway, and I thought I would just look it up on eBay while we were there. Well, it's a good thing that I was sitting down, and I hope you are too, because this little Starbucks building on YouTube is going upwards of $200. Yes, $200. I was floored, I still am. I have it on auction right now on eBay and it got its first bid at $100. I, I'm floored, I am floored, I am grateful, so grateful that I picked this piece up, that it came my way. Um, it's on an auction until this coming Friday, so we'll see what happens with it. But if I get $100 for this, oh my goodness. I mean, if there are no other bids, I will be so happy. 
So there you go. Sometimes it pays to rescue Starbucks. Let me put this in a very safe place so nothing happens to it. Okay, at that same place, um, I found this little copper pot. Absolutely adore it. This I'm going to be keeping for myself and putting it in my kitchen with some kind of little plant. I don't know what's going to go into it uh, right now, but my kitchen backsplash is copper and I have pieces of copper uh, kind of throughout it, the kitchen. So this is going to be a perfect little addition. So we have that. And next we have this sweet little swan and I have seen swan now this could be a planter it could be for your cotton balls in your bathroom it really could be for whatever you want it to be however I don't ever recall seeing one that had the legs and the feet I don't know that they have feet but you know what I mean and they're on both sides and they are reliefed so they weren't just painted on there and it does have a marking on the bottom of it of course I didn't think to bring a magnifying glass or what you folks will probably be able to read that but I thought it was just absolutely sweet and this I have no idea what she charged me as you can see there's no price on it next I found this I think beautiful green planter absolutely love it no chips no dings uh, and no markings <laughs> either but that's okay I think it's gorgeous, and this I am going to be reselling. It could be a USA uh, piece. I'm not sure. I wish there was some kind of marking on it, but I still like it, and I do love this color. What? Oh, let's see. Some of this is actually kind of be a little bit of a surprise for me because I can't remember. Oh, that's right. All that I got. I got some perfume bottles. As I know folks do love perfume bottles. So this, I think what she was charging was the Avon was, was two for five dollars. That might have been it. So first we have this little one. What was in this? Forever Spring Cologne from Avon. There's As you can see, there's a little bit left in it. I got it not for the cologne that was inside of it, but I really liked the shape of this and I love that turquoisey blue top that is on it. So I have that one. Oh, and you can still, you can smell some of, of the Avon perfume. I found this beautiful uh, perfume with a uh, bottle with the atomizer, I think is what they call it. Now it does, it does squish, but I'm not feeling or hearing any air come out of it. But at least that was, it's better than the last one that I picked up. The last one I picked up, this was just squish. This is deflated. It wasn't working at all. And this has no markings on it. So I'm not sure if that's an Avon piece or not. Uh, let me see. Here is... This is a crystal bottle made in France, it says. And this one I picked up for the shape. Absolutely love the shape. Love the design on it. And look at the top. It's, it's just beautiful. It does have a little plastic that can, helps to keep it in there a little bit better. Love that one too. I think there are more. This is going to be a little bit of a long video. I should have warned you up front. Oh, it's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> this is from Avon. I love the poodle. Whoop, there we go. Now you can see him a little better. Love, love, love this poodle. And Oh, he still has stuff in him. Yep. Uh, it's marked Avon on the bottom. And I know Avon is not a real big seller. At least probably most things are not, unless you come across something that is super rare. But I picked these up because of the, the shapes and the characters and, and such. Not so much be that they were Avon, but I thought he was adorable as well. And then I got this little milk glass bathtub. I think this was, yep, that's Avon too. Oh no, that's not really focusing. But it, 
there you might be able to see it now, but it is Avon. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. If I'm going to resell this or if I am going to keep it for myself and make one of my little bathtub creations in it. I've kind of been getting a little hankering to do that again. So this one I'm up in the air about. But this would look really cute in the bathroom with bath salts in it or a little soaps or something. I mean, there's a lot you could do with this piece, I think. At that same store, we haven't left that store yet. Ah, more perfume models. Again, this is an Avon, but it's a unicorn. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. I love this one. I don't know what is inside of it, but there's still a good amount in it. Ooh, when I did that, you could see it. Can you see all that? You might be able to see it, but there's little floaty things in it. I'm sure it's been in there for quite a long time. I forgot to ask you all. Uh, I usually do this at the beginning of the videos, but I completely forgot. I would love it if you would stick it out to the end of the video and then put a comment in the comment section down below and everyone, let everybody know what your favorite find was from this haul, and I will do the same for you. Although you probably may have already guessed what my favorite thing from the haul was. Uh, this I picked up because I have heard that bottles of perfume can be resold for some decent money. This is Shalimar, and you can see here it has never been opened. The little whatever little string that's on it has never been broken, never cut. Um, I was looking to see if maybe they had a date on it. I don't see a date on it, but we'll see how that does. I remember Shalimar. I was never much of a perfume person though. And then the last two pieces from that store were really cool and I sort of debated on getting these I believe she charged me five dollars a piece for them and it wasn't the price that I was kind of wavering on it was the subject matter and I just don't know how well they're gonna do for resale but they just you know how they say pieces speak to you well these kind of did so they are mirrors look at this how beautiful I think they're just gorgeous so I'm going to say that these are these are geisha girls in a Japanese garden. And you can tell the age on the back of it. Look at that. So there's the one. Uh, let me put this down where it's not going to get damaged. Hold on. And then there's the second one. They resemble each other. They're very close, but they are a bit different. Yep, that takes care of that one. And here is the second one. I think they're beautiful. I, I just think they're beautiful. So I will see how these do. I've got to do some research on them first, see what I can find out about them. And they will probably be going up on eBay and probably Etsy. Okay, so that takes care of the one. <laughs> told you, there's a lot. Uh, oh, let me do this. This is one of the vendors uh, from the flea market. Wish I could remember his name. He, oh my goodness, he was a talker. Oh, he was such a talker. And I believe I have a price on the box. I think I paid $20 for everything that I'm going to show you. Uh, so I did rescue a Starbucks mug. <laughs> just a clear one here. Oh, I don't even sure if you can tell with that glare there, but it's just a plain a Starbucks across the front. This is super, super cool. An Art Beck Baster. Still in its original packaging it is made it says um arthur beck company not copyright 1945 uh, made of heat resistant pyrex brand glass and it is a baster oh my goodness look at this it's glass isn't that cool so, and the, the rubber is not cracked or breaking or anything. It does need to have a good clean on it. But, oh my goodness, I was so excited about this. Sometimes it's just silly things that get me really excited. Uh, let me see. Oh, these are going to go in my laundry room once I redo the laundry room. And I have been looking for a pair of old, just old, huge scissors. And I finally found a pair. I love them. And I will bet that they would cut do some good cutting. As a matter of fact, I think that they did because I think I used these scissors on it and I uh, stopped 
and cut some uh, pampas grass while we were coming, well, actually when we were still down in Myrtle Beach. And I think that we used these scissors, so they are some pretty sharp scissors. I love them. Uh, let me see what else we have here. Whoop. This might be two pieces. I cannot remember what this is now. I'm sorry for the rattling. Oh, yes. Oh, look at these. I'm going to say these are swans. I'm not entirely sure, but you can see there are two of them. How pretty are they? But I'm going to sell the two of them in this set like that. They say $2 on them, but I'm not sure of what he actually charged me for these. Um, but those are going to be in a set. Um, no, no, no markings on them. And then what is inside of here? Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to say that's an angel fish. I think that looks like what an angel, reminds, reminds me of what the angel fish looked like in the aquarium that um, we had when I was a, a child. So we have a piece of art class here, angel fish, beautiful orange. I hope that's coming up. And then the white here and clear and he's in perfect shape. And then I believe the last thing I got there was this lidded piece. I love it. It's a very, very, soft pastel pink with as you can see the white here and that's kind of kind of relief that white is um made it says made in china this piece has got some age to it though so that's what i picked up at that gentleman's a booth there at the flea market so let me put all of this stuff back in the box and i'll be right back again okay thanks back again uh let me see i'm I'm getting things, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm getting things sort of confused as to trying to keep them together. So I think I'm just going to start showing you things because this poor little brain doesn't often remember as well as I would like it to. Okay, we've got some glass in there. This I want to show you. This is pretty amazing. Look at the size of this cloche. It is filthy dirty as you can see absolutely love it uh, this was at another vendor at the flea market and the bottom of it believe it or not is perfect there are no chips or anything in it I was so happy to find this and he charged me $15 for this he had another one um, that was even bigger than I think than this one was but I don't know what I would do with a larger one so I was pretty happy to get this you can see there's no bottom but hold on wait till you see one of maybe the last stores that we went to, thrift stores that we went to, I found this. <laughs> I think it's a cutting board, but it's perfect. Wait, you'll see. Uh, look at how perfect that is. It was almost like it was made for it. And I don't mind at all that it has this little kind of piece that sticks out from the side. Um, so what I might do is go ahead and stain this, wash this puppy up really good, and maybe stain this with a darker stain. Um, and this was only a dollar. That was the only thing that I, I remember that I did get at that little store. Let me put this down. Oh, I just have so much to show you. I may have to break this into two videos. Oh, okay, this was another vendor at the flea market. Um, what did he, I was trying to mark down on the bag, trying to remember what he charged me. This little piece, adorable. This has got some age to it. So it's a mold, as you can see, of, I'm going to say a chicken. It's a chicken. Not sure, you guys will correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. I believe he charged me $5 for this. Now, while we were um, at another store, Anna and I had seen some pieces that were painted with a very realistic looking chocolate color, chocolate brown color. So I thought this would look adorable painted in that chocolate color if I could find it. Um, I may try and resell it first before I do this because I think he's just an amazing piece and he would look really cool in somebody's kitchen. 
And at that same vendor, I found two uranium glass pieces. They are very, very similar. There is a little bit of difference between the two of them in that this piece here, you might be able to see, has little dimples along the bottom part of it. And this one does not. Um, but other than that, they're identical. So I'm not quite sure why one would have those little dimples and the other one would not. Um, I think that's all I got from that vendor. Put this back. Oh, actually, it's not all I got from him. Way to see these. Oh, my goodness. Look at this shutter. I'm going to have to show it sideways here. Look at this shutter. Isn't this amazing? This chippy green paint. And then the hardware that's on it here. So, so cool. He charged me $5 a piece. I got two of them. He only charged me $5 a piece for these shutters. I am in love. There is the back of them. I may use them in my home for a little while. Somewhere I'm not sure yet where, but I think I'm going to use them for myself for a little while and then um, try and sell them on Facebook Marketplace because they would be a bugger to ship. Very big and rather heavy to ship. But that's the other things that I got from that, the other vendor. Uh, let me see. This was also a flea market purchase. This was from the vendor. If you watched the video that I saw that milk glass lamp and I couldn't decide whether or not to get it. And I won't keep you in suspense any longer. I decided not to get it. Uh, he was asking $20 for it. He would not come down on the price. I didn't have to have it. I would like to have had it for a space over here that's in my family room, but because it was a real want and not a I needed it, I decided to pass on it. But at that same vendor is where I picked up this basket. I think it is super, super cool. It has a tag of $3 on it, but I'm not sure that's what he charged me. He kind of gave me a bundle price. Um, so I think what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be keeping this for myself. I think what I might do with it, we'll see, is give it kind of a whitewash. I'm not sure. Um, but when things get rearranged in my living room, not for several months now until after my daughter uh, gets, uh, gets her own apartment, I will be opening up my fireplace. So I thought this would be a really cool basket to lay firewood in. So that is why I got that one. Lots of crunches, I know, I'm sorry. What else do we have here? All right, this was at, it's called the Home Store, the Robeson County Church and Community Center. And the three pieces that I'm gonna show you here, believe it or not, came to $1.75. No, wait, I'm sorry. That was my change. Came to, my goodness, what was the total here? Oh, it was $1.75, okay. I found a willow tree and I love picking up these willow trees when I can find them and believe it or not this little lady was only 50 cents perfect condition oh what is her name her name is what is she called she is called love of learning is what she's called I uh, found a candle I love picking up these candles and I will show you what that's gonna be going in. I hope anyway, if it fits in one of the other bags. And then this beautiful USA piece. Look at that. I think I may have had this piece um, previously and sold it in a live sale. And oh, since that has come up, let me tell you, uh, I wanna share something with you that um, I was uh, contacted by Beth over at Carolina Sweets and Treats. I believe that's the name of her, her YouTube channel. If it is not, I'll correct it um, before I post this video. But Beth contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a sale with her. And as you all know, I haven't done a sale in quite some time, but we're gonna do a two-way sale at the beginning of May. 
I don't have my calendar with me right now, so I can't remember the date, but I just wanted to kind of put that little bug in your ear that I will be doing a, a live sale. It's going to be on Beth's channel in the beginning of May, and I'll have more uh, coming on that as the weeks go by. But I absolutely love this piece. So that's what I got there. I'm going to keep the candle out because if I find the other piece that I, I'm going to have this go in, I'm going to show it to you. All right. What is in here? What did I spend? This was at, uh, it's called Helping the Orphans. This was in Lumberton. Uh, well, Helping the Orphans, Lumberton, but this was actually in Red Spring. Red Springs, North Carolina. And I spent a total of $4.26 here. Don't remember what I got. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, I think this is a pitcher. A little creamer. Oh, yeah. Adorable. Just, just a plain white creamer. But I just love the shape of it. And the white, I mean, is so universal. You could use USA marked on the bottom. You could use this in just about any kind of decor. It's going to match perfectly, I think. And then... Let's see what we get here. Oh! A Stars and Bars Fairy Lamp. Just the top of it. Um, I already have one and I've got it listed. But the reason I got this was because... You know, if somebody has a fairy lamp, the stars and bars, and, and they accidentally pick this up and it dr drop it and they break it, they're going to need a replacement. So that's why I got this piece as a replacement piece. And since it's already listed on eBay, all I have to do is go into my listing and change the quantity from one to two and poof, it's done. So there you have it. <laughs> Let me see. We're going on somewhere around 30 minutes now. I think I'll do one more bag, and then I will save the rest of it for uh, the middle of this week, and we'll finish it off then. Oops. What do we have in here? Ah, I found this little little girl because I thought she might look make a really cute little character in one of my bathtub creations because her little hands can be coming out of the, uh, the bathtub with her leaves and her little feet. Actually, I don't even have to show her feet, but I thought she was just adorable. So I think she'll look really cute in a bathtub creation. Uh, oh, this was a good one. Oh, I remember this one now. This was, I do remember this place vividly. Um, we were able to go, the woman was very nice. She let us go in the kind of the back room and go through bins that she hadn't even unpacked yet and haven't, hadn't even priced. So we got to dig around in there. It was a lot of fun. Now she must have gotten this from a yard sale or something. It had a $1 price on it. But look at this elephant planter. Oh my goodness. He's so, so cute. So cute. He is marked uh, USA on the bottom of him. I just thought he was adorable. So I got that, and um, this I picked up because it's sterling silver. So this will be going with the rest of my sterling silver to go uh, to the, the folks in that have that uh, shop that I've told you about previously in North Carolina that buys sterling. Oh, this little guy. Look at this little planter. I got a couple planters there. Isn't he adorable? He has really got some character to him, and I love the colors on him. He is marked, oh, what is that? I believe, I think that's Japan, made in Japan on the bottom. You can see he's got a lot of crazing, but he's intact. This almost reminds me of a cupcake, the bottom of a cupcake, but I thought he was adorable. What is this? This is, this is a heavy piece. <gasps> Buttons, buttons, an entire jar of buttons already. Now, oh, I'm going to take the wooden uh, spool, thread of spool out of here for my own collection, but the rest of these buttons I'm going to be reselling. And there might, let me see here, what else do we have? Oh, flower frog, yep. 
just a nice clear flower frog that is probably that's probably a good four or five inches round this is a pretty large one so you know what guys i'm going to go ahead and stop now because uh you know i don't really like my videos to run too too long because i know you guys have got a lot of things to do you've got other videos to watch and and whatnot so i'm going to stop here what I will do is I'll do another video uh, toward the middle, maybe Wednesday, 30 of, Thursday of this week, where I'll show you the rest of everything that I found from the girls' weekend away. So, my favorite piece that I hauled, mind you, um, was the Starbucks, because I was just floored at what this could do for me. That is my favorite piece, please. In uh, the comment section down below, I would love it if you would let all of us know what your favorite find was from this haul. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of video and you are not already subscribed to my channel and you stuck it out this long, I would love for you to become a member of my little YouTube family here and make sure to hit the all notifications bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching so very much and as always, please Take very, very good care of yourselves and hugs to everyone. Bye for now.